All right, guys, so welcome to our next segment of our channel. So if you're new, which most people are because the channel is new, every single truck will have a number gauged on it. Now you will see on our other trucks, it's labeled ABQ Custom. This guy is gonna be labeled ABQ Work Truck. Uh, we realize that we only do so many customs in a year, so we wanna keep you entertained and we wanna keep you well educated on the truck. So what's the best way of doing that? Uh, you know, present work trucks. So let's get into it. This is uh, work truck number one, I'll say it again. So this is gonna be our 2019 389 short hood day cab. As you can see, it's four axles, so this is considered a heavy haul. All matching axles, Dana Spicers, front and rears. We have a 20,000 pound front axle with a 20,000 pound taper leaf suspension on the front. We have a 20,000 pound steerable pusher axle. This right here is gonna be able to save the tire tread. You're not gonna drag because it will steer. Also, it will give you a better turning radius. Nice little markup, but definitely a money saver. We're going, we have the 46,000 pound Dana Spicer rear axle with a new way suspension. That's gonna be a markup. The new way suspension. The new way suspension is uh, arguably the smoothest suspension that you could possibly put on a commercial truck and or smoothest with the higher max rating of um, weight capacity. Also, there's gonna be a 60 inch spread between the tandems. Also a 60 inch spread between the front tandem and the pusher axle giving you label, legal capability to haul in every single state in um, the country, also and in Canada. So um, we're going a little bit out of order, but since we're back here, let's go ahead and start looking into some of the things we have back here. Trailer connections on the rear for any type of trailer connection. Um, some trailers require it, some don't. If you're a heavy hauler, you know that it does, and if you don't, well, now you do. Um, stainless steel quarter fenders. Uh, once again, these are, you know, a markup, but they look good. They secure your mud flaps a little better than the little pin that the lower model has. Also, we have FW35 fifth wheel, not a standard. It is a markup, a much wider base. Let's, it keeps hold of that load that much better. Also, a 72-inch slide. It's going to push it. Uh, give you the capability to pretty much put any type of trailer on here We don't know what it is that you want to do with the truck because every single customer is different If you look at it, you'll see that we pushed it all the way to the back that fifth wheel slide So if you need to put a Kozak ram on there, you don't need to cut into the bolts to push your slide back You're just able to get it done and it's just as simple as that On the back of the truck, you'll see that we have two flush uh, loading lights with the clear lenses, uh, logger style radio antenna. Hundred and we're sorry guys, we're we're a little bit out of order, but you know just bear with me. So 120 gallons on the driver on the passenger side and 80 gallons on the driver side. Uh, when we get over to that side, we'll give you a good glance at that. So you see these wires right here, guys. This is a learning moment. You put these wires here, so if you ever need to put a headache rack, you don't need to wire through the entire truck to the dash to figure out how to get it set up. We made it a little bit easier. It's more of a plug and play type of situation. Um, now, these are gonna be your premium SS 15 inch air cleaners. The way you can tell the difference between just your standard 15 inch and your SS is you're gonna have these, these little these, um, I don't know, these bolts inside of the actual housing of the breather. It makes another something a little bit harder to steal. Those air filters are not the cheapest things. So, um, last bit on suspension. We have a 425 front axle, I mean front axle tire. This right here is gonna give you the legal capability to haul 20,000 pounds in every single state in the country. Uh, People in Texas will know that just because your axle is rated at 20,000 and just because your tire is rated at 20,000 doesn't necessarily mean you're legally rated at that because they're going to measure you from the width of your tire, not just the rating. One tow pin on the front, a little easy access. As you can see, you lift up the pin, drop it down, the truck's ready to go. So I'm sure you heard me say it earlier, 389 short hood, and you're probably wondering, oh, well, this is such a big truck. Why are you doing a short hood? Okay, so the truck is, is a good looking truck, but it's meant for performance. On top of that, you have an X15 performance engine, 565 horse, 2050 torque. Uh, a lot of complaints that we were getting from people was the, 
the 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 four axles that we used to build were about 301 wheelbase. This is going to be 279. Uh, they were complaining that turning radius was too tight. I mean, too wide, not tight enough. And the main complaint was that they spent all this money on a uh, 20,000 pound front axle, but they could only get 16 to 15,000 pounds to it because of the wheelbase being so long. Shortening the hood saves you money, saves you weight, gets you more weight to the front, and shortening the wheelbase, etc., saves you weight, saves you money, and gets more weight to the front. Um, now let's take a look at this frame. This is going to be 11 5 8 frame. The biggest frame you can get from the factory. Not only is it the biggest frame you get from the factory, it's a full sleeve lining from the front all the way to the back. Uh, Anti-rust corrosion, which is going to be your zinc cover spray over your frame rails will reassure that no matter how long you have this truck, even if you break the paint on the truck, the spray is under the paint. You will not get rust on this frame which will keep you from having to replace not just one frame rail but two frame rails in the future lifetime of this truck um, now we got the straight connectors on the back that's going to be a 15 foot um, connector hoses making sure that you will be able to connect your trailer at any distance of which you know if you kind of have it set up at uh, you have the hodge built quarter fenders this is going to be the best you can get from the factory nice shine nice glimmer it just looks good if we're you know if you're going to the extent of you know making such a high class truck you might as well go along with the quarter fenders i mean to add on to high class you have a 60 inch stand-up stacks of what the seven inch diameter big breathers just just the works that's just pretty much the best way of saying it um we put the air horns on the roof normally we wouldn't but when it comes to our day cabs especially our heavy hauls we need to make sure that whoever is in the way can hear you we don't want to put little horns on the bottom. We want really loud, really big, and somewhat obnoxious breathers on the top. You got a spotlight on the side, dark um, dark loading environments. Uh, spotlight definitely comes in handy. Uh, now let's, um, let's get into the truck itself. Well, before we get in, one last thing. So this is going to be your fifth wheel slide controls. Um, you can't put it, sorry, this is going to be your pusher slide control, pusher control. You normally are going to find this part right here towards the actual pusher. It's pretty inconvenient to have to get all the way out of the truck to control the actual pusher settings. So we put it underneath the cabin. You can't put it in the cabin because that's not legal on DOT standards, but this right here is right on the borderline. So all you got to do is open the door up, kind of just tweak it and close the door and you don't have to get out into the elements. So come on in. So, sear seats, very comfy, very soft. I mean, major indention right there. Feeder belt seats are good. But if you don't have to worry about uh, getting into the sleeper, because you don't want to, you have to put the full back arms to get through the tight compartments. These sear seats are, I mean, definitely a bang for your buck. Very soft, very comfortable. So, what you have in a heavy haul, there's, um, you need a very, very selective gauge package. Uh, I would say never buy a heavy haul if it only has a couple gauges on it because you got too many things going on to not know. So, brake application, suspension load, you got your front and rear axle temperatures, your trailer supply, you have your manifold, which is going to be your turbo, you got your DEF levels, you have your transmission temperature, your pusher axle uh, pressure, you have your oil temperature, your air filter restriction gauge your fuel filter restriction gauge, and your general air pressure. I mean, every single one of these things are important. Two PTO switches. Uh, most people don't know it, but you can run two different types of PTOs, maybe a pneumatic blower and a PTO off the same transmission. So it's good to have this if it's a heavy haul and it's gonna be doing plenty of different applications. You got your, your suspension switches, your fifth wheel slide, and your full locking differentials. Peterbilt is the only brand that has a 6S6M, which is going to be six modules, six central sensor traction control system. Uh, you, you get another brand, they're going to have a 4S4M. So this full locking differential doesn't really mean anything because, yes, it's supposed to lock, 
but if your traction control system doesn't have a sensor or a module on one of the axles, you're going to be spinning regardless. So just another markup that Peterbilt has as a standard, which is a major markup for other people. I believe it's somewhere like a $2,000 markup for Kenworth. Um, leather steering wheel, your, your standard module cluster, um, radio, 18-speed transmission. Now, I didn't really get into it. I mentioned that there was a 2050 torque engine in here. But this transmission is a 2250 torque transmission. I'm not going to say it's impossible to break it. But it almost has to be on purpose to break it. Uh, you got an extra 200 pounds of torque that the transmission can handle. Which is 200 more pounds than what the engine is actually pushing out. So, I mean, just in general, this is a heavy haul. This is meant for just extreme work weird situations oil filled in the in the mountains in the mines i mean anywhere you can think of extreme work that's where your average four hauls four is going to be my battery died yeah 